Well, tech experts are sounding alarm bells over the rapid spread of AI-generated explicit images of women online. Concerns grew this week after sexual deepfake photos of Taylor Swift went viral on social media. A slew of fake pornographic images of the singer made their rounds on X, formerly Twitter, all without her consent or her knowledge, and they were seen tens of millions of times before being taken down. Swifties drowned out the post by flooding timelines with, quote, protect Taylor Swift. Most of the instigators have been suspended by X, and the site says it's taking action on any more images it finds. For more on this, uh, we're joined now by Ben Coleman. He's the co-founder and CEO of Reality Defender, a deepfake detection firm. Thanks for joining us, Ben. I want to ask, uh, you know, when you saw these, how did you know they were fake? How did you detect that? Well, unfortunately, we've seen these for many months. I think the only reason they're becoming topical is because they went viral on Twitter, on, on X. But these have been moving around the dark web and public web uh, for close to five months now. And what our platform, Reality Defender, does is detects AI-generated or manipulated media, whether it's audio, video, images, or text. And this one was, was quite simple. Um, we are over 80% confident that this was a diffusion-based deepfake. And diffusion is one of the more popular generative models. Platforms like Stable Diffusion and Midjourney uh, allow anybody with an internet connection, anyone with a Google search, to, for free, create quite dangerous media. Dangerous, and you know, of course, this was brought to light uh, by this happening to one of the biggest celebrities right now, Taylor Swift. But this could happen to anyone. How vulnerable are people right now with this uh, this AI technology uh, advancing so quickly? That's what makes it incredibly scary. You know, for our parents, for for our children. You know, you can only use your imagination to think about how dangerous uh, a potential piece of media can be. You know, with only a few seconds of your voice or a picture of your face from social media or LinkedIn, you can put a person into any kind of compromising position. And given the technology is available to anybody without having to have any expertise in technology at all, mm. just Google it. There's over 10,000 platforms that do this. And we're hearing reports, you know, from police agencies as well, you know, that there are students in schools being victimized by this. Uh, there are, uh, there's child pornography being made using this technology. There's also calls for, you know, governments to do more, lawmakers to do more, to crack down on this. How difficult is that? So the software, using it is not difficult. You know, uh, platforms can use our software today to identify a AI-generated image upon upload before it goes viral. The problem is, is that government regulations just don't exist yet. Things are moving way too quickly. And the requirement should be on the platforms to flag deepfakes, not on the consumer. People on our team with PhDs can't see real versus fake Average people don't stand a chance. So we absolutely need regulation to require the platforms to protect consumers. And what kind of regulations would that include? Because, you know, this is, people are, people are vulnerable online. You're hearing about, you know, people being bullied and things like that. And, and it can go widespread so quickly. So when you talk about regulations, what does that look like? You know, taking a step back quickly, you know, we think AI has a lot of great great abilities, you know, things can, can, can be helped for everybody with AI. In this space, unfortunately, it's very dangerous. And what we're looking in other countries, European Commission, UK, Taiwan, Singapore, they've brought up regulations that at minimum just require the flagging of AI-generated media. Not saying it's good or it's bad or truthful or untruthful, but just saying that this image, this video, has indicators of AI to give the viewers, the consumers, the ability to not see it, or perhaps it won't go viral. But again, in the U.S. right now, we don't have any regulations. We're hoping that in the next few months, 
our current legislative teams will push forward with some minimum regulations. And in the next few months, of course, we could see major advances in this technology as well. Where do you see this going when it comes to how sophisticated AI is? You know, over the last three months, it's become sophisticated enough that to the naked eye, you cannot tell the difference. And in a year where I think over half of the world will be voting in some kind of election, you, know, you could imagine this affecting every single one of us in every single country. Well, time is definitely of the essence for sure, especially when you put it in those terms. Thanks for uh, explaining this to us today, Ben. Thank you again. Ben Coleman with Reality Defender.